She helps kids build up their muscles. This is the Yes Youth Fitness and Performance Gym in Lee Summit, where kids rule. Um, they let me sneak in for a quick game of freestyle, no net volleyball. Now at this kids gym, trainers engage the kids with fun and high energy experiences. Success here is not measured by numbers on a scale. Here it's about setting and achieving goals and gaining self-confidence. We have Megan Moeller, who is a kind of coach at uh, Yes, and she's here with us today. And of course, we're focusing this year on Workout Wednesday Absolutely. about childhood obesity. And you can really relate to some of the kids who come who are dealing with weight problems. Yes, ma'am, I can. Um, my story is very similar to a lot of the kids who come into our gym. Um, growing up, I loved to eat. I loved mm -hmm. sports, but when I was done with sports, I would be done with activity, and I would go eat. And um, growing up, I gained a lot of weight. And by the time I was 12 and 13, um, I was pushing that obesity range. So I myself struggled as well. Right. We have some pictures of that. So you have the heart and passion for the kids who are I dealing do. with issues. What happened to you when you were struggling with your weight as a child? What is that like? It's, um, you know, people always hear about the bullying that you'll get from other kids. But mm -hmm. personally, my experience was I tended to bully myself. Um, mm. I would look in the mirror. I would see myself. And I would wonder why I couldn't be like other their kids, why I couldn't be the same as them. Um, and it was more so um, a pressure that I put on myself than what I got from other people. What caused the change for you? For me, I actually, um, so I started, the gym that I work at is mm -hmm. the gym that I began working out at. It's the gym that kind of turned things around for me. Um, I gained a really, really strong relationship with one of my trainers, and mm -hmm. he was able to help formulate more of a healthy mindset around fitness and nutrition for me. So as you coach the kids, and we've got some great video because you, you coach older and younger kids, yes. as you coach them, what's going through your mind about what you want for them, for their lives? So it's kind of a multifaceted approach. So we've got our little ones, and my goal is to build just a healthy mindset for fitness with them. Um, if we build it to where they love it when they're young, most likely they're going to love it when they're mm. older. So I hope to um, make it something enjoyable and something purposeful for them while they're young. As they're older, many of the kids come in and they're more sports performers oriented. Mm -hmm. My goal is to teach them how to perform in a sport um, in a way that's going to promote their team and them being the best member that they can on the team. So there, as I was there, I just noticed there's no pressure. You know, they, they kind of push the kids. You push Absolutely. the kids to kind of do what they want to, you know, need to do to get their goals. But there was no pressure. And there were all different body types. Absolutely. And, you know, performance levels. Yep. And so it's really kind of, is that part of what YES is all about, about letting kids be themselves yes, and feel comfortable with it? Yes, ma'am. That's, I um, actually had this conversation last night. We're not trying to turn kids into Barbie dolls. We're not trying to make a one-size-fits-all kid. Everybody has a unique shape. Everybody has a unique size. Um, and their goals are different. So... Our goal um, as a club is to just get them where they need to be and want to be themselves and not try to turn them into anything specific that we see or that society tells them they need to be. Last question, how yes, would you encourage parents to handle children, their own children, who are dealing with weight problems? Some parents, you know, they're, they're really pushing their kids about yes, their weight and really hitting them hard of you need to lose weight, you need to, you know, they're the pressure on the yes, kids. Yes, absolutely. Um, my th I would say to parents is, being healthy is the most important. Um, being skinny is not. So each kid, as I said, has their own unique body type. Mine, myself, I'm Italian, so mine's going to be a little bit more. I'm not going to be a stick figure. Um, yeah. So just teaching your kids to be a healthy, you know, eating well, staying active, that's the best thing that they can do. Megan Muller, thank you so much for thank being you. here and for what you're doing with the kids to help them stay healthy. Thank you.